what do you want to do right after you've ridden the Millennium Falcon? You want to have lunch here at Docky Bay 7. I'm going to show you everything you need to know from the perspective of a plus size person or someone with mobility or accessibility concerns. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother. And today we're gonna take a look at all the seating available for Docking Bay 7. We'll take a look at the food. We'll see how easy it is to move around the restaurant as well, if you're in a wheelchair or ECV. And if there are any sensory or cognitive concerns you need to be aware about, we'll share that with you as well. Now Docking Bay 7 is just across from Smuggler's Run. Over here is a ramp. And then off to the side over here, are some stairs. There is some outdoor seating. As you can see, it's very sturdy, nice wide seats, and the tables do have umbrellas. Let's have a quick look at this menu. They have smoke kadoo ribs, which are just basically sticky pork ribs, roasted Andorian tip yip salad, which is marinated chicken with mixed greens, Yob shrimp noodle salad is chilled shrimp marinated noodles and vegetables. The Felician Garden Spread is vegetarian. It's plant-based kefta, herb hummus, tomato, cucumber relish, and pita. Braised sack roast is beef pot roast, cavatelli pasta, wilted kale, and mushrooms. And the fried Andorian tip yip is crispy chicken, roasted vegetable, mashed potatoes, and herb gravy. They also have a kid's menu the Yob Shrimp Noodle, Youngling Salad, Taste of Takanda, and Fried Andorian Tip Yip. It's a Youngling's meal. They have a couple of desserts as well. Oi Oi Puff Raspberry Cream Puffs, Batu Bonds, which is chocolate cake with white chocolate mousse. They also serve breakfast here as well, but we are gonna be enjoying lunch today. It does look like it's pretty good. Some nice specialty drinks. All right, let's have a look at the Docking Bay 7 lunch and dinner allergy-friendly menu. Gluten-free, wheat, allergy-friendly. There's two, three entrees there. Under milk, allergy-friendly, there's one, two, three, four items there. Tree nut, allergy-friendly, one, two, three, four, five, six things available. Egg allergy, there are one, two, three entrees. Fish and shellfish, holy cow, there's tons of stuff in here. Looks like it's basically the whole menu. Peanut allergy friendly, wow, lots of things are peanut allergy friendly. And there's even fish allergy friendly and soy allergy friendly items. Now they also have an allergy free menu for breakfast. I'm just gonna give it a little scan here for you to take a look at it. I am really impressed with all of the allergy friendly options on their menu. Tons and tons of great stuff. Really, uh, they've done a fantastic job of putting together a menu that works for so many different people. Good job. Let's go in and get something for ourselves. Just inside the entrance, there's this gate that you can enter if you're in an ECB wheelchair or you have a stroller. I usually like to go to lunch early. It's 11.08 a.m. and I've been in line for about 10 minutes already and there's a really long line ahead of me. So I would imagine if you're planning on eating here, if they have mobile ordering available, I would definitely take advantage of that. I don't have it today, probably because it's a pass holder preview. But yeah, you definitely wanna see if you can get mobile ordering if it's available because this is quite the line at 11 a.m. Here are the registers and just above them, you see the menu boards. This is the area where you pick up your food. This counter space reminds me very much of Satuli Canteen. Here's one of the different workstations that are located throughout the restaurant. One of the cast members here is able to take trays from you, dispose of food, and if you need help finding a table, they can even assist with that. There's a number of different options for tables here. This one's a lower table, which is wheelchair and ECB accessible. It also has stools that move in and out. There's a lot of counter seating for people who are dining on their own. Here I'm at one of the countertops, the high tops, sitting on one of the chairs. I had no trouble getting into this chair. I'm actually wearing my backpack right now. I have my backpack on and I'm in the chair. Now keep in mind, 
mind, I do have my backpack on that's like eight to 10 inches thick. So if I sat all the way back in the seat, there'd be plenty of room. So yes, these fixed seats are plus size accessible. There are even larger dining table areas for bigger family parties. This is what the infant high chairs look like. Even this fixed booth seating area has a table that will pull in and out from the booth to accommodate people of all sizes. The high ceilings in this restaurant and the sort of hard concrete surfaces make noise bounce around a lot in here. It can get very noisy, but on a day like today when it's not too terribly busy, it's actually not that bad. There are little pods like this. It's like a pod door and seating in here that's a little more enclosed and a little bit quieter. There's actually three tables in here. There's people sitting in the table on the far right, so I won't film them, but I wanted you to see these empty tables. Note that the tables are pedestal tables that can be pulled in and out away from the fixed booth to make room for people of all sizes. On the edge of the dining room, they have something they call a hydration station. You could use these hydrators to refill your water bottle, or it's a great place to pop in and get a free cup of water without needing to stand in line at a register. I kind of want to show you the fit of the booth here. I am five feet four inches tall. I weigh 327 pounds and I wear U.S. women's sizes 28 or three through five X and usually a four X is most comfortable for me. So take a look at the room that I have here. I am... Um, so I have about a hand's width available between me and the table, so I'm not like right on top of it. I didn't have to squeeze in, slid right in very easily. And it looks like all the fixed chairs in here, including the high top chairs and the lower chairs, all have the same amount of distance between the back of the chair and the table, so they look to be accessible to people of size. Let's go ahead and take a look at the food. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We have the fried and Dorian yip tip. And then this is a, I don't remember, something mashed they called it, but it's basically mashed potatoes with vegetables and fried chicken. And there's like a little bit of gravy in the bottom, a light gravy. This is the oi oi poof. Basically what this is, is some sort of a raspberry puff dessert. Uh, this looks like wasabi. I don't know what that is. It's topped with uh, what appears to be a buttercream frosting and some sort of a sugary wasabi looking thing and a chocolate wafer with the black spires outpost on it and then of course you have a little bit of raspberry preserve off to the side actually raspberry puree is what that is i also got myself some roof juice which is some kind of a citrus blend juice and um because i need a little bit of caffeine today I also got myself a giant Coke Zero. Now this entire meal, two drinks, a dessert, and an entree came to $34.04. And the only flatware they gave me was this fork. You do get real dishes, real silverware, but no knife. So somehow I'm gonna have to make this work. <laughs> All right, first things first, let's go ahead and try the blue juice. It's flat, it's not sparkling, very refreshing, definitely citrus based, kind of a little bit of a grapefruit flavor to it, a little bit of an orange juice, a little bit of mango, I'm not really sure exactly all the juices in it, but it's pretty tasty. Okay, here's the chicken, so this gravy that's on here is sort of green. The chicken's pretty good. It's surprisingly tender and surprisingly moist, considering it's just like a block of white breast meat chicken. The seasoning on the outside is a little bit peppery, but not bad. But that green sauce is actually a little bit spicy. Not hot, spicy. It's yummy, and I like it. I'm gonna try the mashed potatoes. potatoes remind me a lot of like a shepherd's pie type of mashed potato, a little bit thicker and heartier, and it has peas and carrots mixed in with it. Now that I'm thinking about it, that green sauce tastes a little bit like it has slight jalapeno flavor to it and a little bit of cilantro. Not heavy on cilantro because I like it, and I don't like cilantro, but I like this. Now it's time to dig into this boy boy poof. 
Okay, inside of the puff pastry is a little bit of a cream, a raspberry cream. The topping is a very light whipped topping that has a citrus flavor to it. That topping has a very strong tangerine lemon flavor to it. It's very powerful. This green stuff that looks like wasabi is actually cake. Chocolate. So the inside of this dessert is almost like a like a bread texture. And there's this raspberry cream right in here. And a lemony tangy topping. If you like a heavier cake and you like citrus flavors, that dessert can be very appealing to you. I tend to really love things that are chocolatey and a little more sweet and a little less tart, but I just had to try it because it looks so cute. Even though that custardy center of that dessert and the fruity flavors really aren't my bag, it is really delicious. It's very well put together. It's such a nice dessert for a quick service restaurant. I'm very impressed with it. And I think that if you do enjoy those textures and flavors, that dessert is going to be out of this world. Love it. After having a couple of bites of the chicken and that green sauce, I think it's actually a chili sauce. Like a green chili sauce. <laughs> but again, it's flavorful, but it is not hot. Seasoned, this is a nice solid meal because it's like mashed potatoes, peas, carrots, fried chicken, stuff that you're all familiar with. But the seasoning of the chicken is really good. It's really moist. It's a nice, hearty, thick block of white meat chicken and that sort of chili, green chili sauce with it takes it up a notch. So you're looking at things that are like familiar foods to Americans, but taking it to another level and making it that much nicer. So considering this is a quick service restaurant, especially at Disney, this food's above the cut. I think it's really good and I'm gonna enjoy eating here again. And I'm looking forward to trying all of the other dishes. As I was exiting the restaurant, I found this lovely courtyard area where you can eat outdoors that also has wheelchair accessible tables. Say that was a delightful dining experience. I really enjoyed the food. I thought the quality was <laughs> out of this world. I'm especially impressed with that wonderful allergy-free menu. There seems to be plenty of accessible seating. Every bit of seating seems to be plus size friendly and that's amazing. I hope all your meals are magical. In the meantime, check out all the other videos I've selected for you for Disney dining.